Hey guys, welcome back to Spellbound Caves. My name is Hypno, this is now episode 8. Yeah, so I've been doing a couple things uh, since the last episode around here. You know, gathering some resources and supplies from chests that we found in the previous dungeons. Also, I've rearranged our little storage room. And uh, I've been doing, you know, some AFK around <laughs> this victory monument area. So these vines are starting to take over and... I think I'm just starting to accept the fact that they're going to be here. Uh, I really want to go up there and just tear them all down, but eh, I don't know. They, they're they kind of interesting. Okay, so in the storage room here, I've moved our enchanting table, and I've placed it back in here in its own little enchanting room. Now, I know that the enchanting table is only affected by the first two levels, but I made, wanted the ceiling three high and it just kind of looked weird without having, you know, these stacked up three high as well. Uh, I have a piece of glowstone directly underneath the enchanting table. Uh, I found out that these enchanting tables are transparent blocks or translucent, I mean, and they let light pass through them. So there's a single piece of glowstone down underneath this that's lighting this room up and, you know, it makes the enchanting table kind of pop in this room, I think. <laughs> okay, over here, I moved our wheat farm, and I dug out a, well, it was a 9 by 9 area where the wheat's growing, but I believe the room is actually 11 by 11 because it has this one block area around it. Uh, I have upgraded to Minecraft 1.1, so I can freely walk on this stuff if I want to, but I, you know, just thought it looked better having, you know, one block lip around the edge. I might change this out for wood if I feel <laughs> like uh, really improving the appearance of this room. Maybe the walls of stone brick or something if I get bored a little later. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I went back and I grabbed a lily pad from the Dark Willows area. Placed it here so we can cover up the water. And yeah, um, I kind of moved around a lot of our storage uh, with all the stuff that we've been collecting. Uh, running out of room. So I made a dedicated chest here for the rails and mine carts and things like that. I collected all the brewing stuff from that one one room in uh, the Arcane Enchants. I forget the, the full name of it. Uh, there's our wood supply. I've kind of thrown away some of these signs since we don't really need them. Uh, I got another stack of these fence posts, and I've been using those to smelt things, uh, burn in a furnace. Yeah, so I, one full stack of, um, what was it, cobblestone? Use that many of the fences. That was a full stack. So, I think they burn about as fast as like wood planks. Uh, I grabbed all the enchanted tools. Oh, that one has silk touch on it. I didn't know that. Yeah, I grabbed all these enchanted tools from that last area, and that's our really powerful diamond axe. Um, I don't really think I want to use this in combat. I mean, if I were to die or you know lose it that would be a shame i think what i want to do is save this for like an experience farm or something so i can you know uh, attack skeletons and you know get a lot of bones and arrows and things like that off of them uh yeah so lots of glowstone from those uh rail railroad chests potions and things our mob drop still, and our cobblestone. I've collected a lot of this from digging out these rooms. Okay. Uh, you might have noticed in my inventory that's pretty full. What I'm planning on doing is since we've already been to intersection 2 and we have not seen the path to intersection 3, I assume it's through the rumbling caverns, I think is that third path's name. So I'm going to bring like a little, you know, care package chest in case I die. Uh, you know, bring some food, coal and wood, bed. Um... This armor that's almost dead I'm going to bring with us so we can, you know, have something there. In case we do die, we need to armor up. Um, <clears throat> some tools. And then this armor right here is, I'm going to enchant right now. We need some new stuff. Uh, our old armor was pretty well worn out. And I'm going to put some torches around this table right now to bring the enchanting level way down since we don't have an experience farm set up. And I just want the real low levels. So protection one, that's good. And protection. Just one level ones. Protection and protection. Perfect. I love having that extra protection on the overpowered iron armor. It makes it that much more overpowered. 
Okay. Uh, I, oh, yeah. I brought bows and arrows and things for that care package as well. Um, our sword needs to, some a chance in our spare sword, too. I'm actually going to use this one as our main one. We got 12 levels. Let's just put a 4. Sharpness. And sharpness. Okay. That works. I think we are all set to go here. Just going to consolidate some of that stuff. Oh, no, no, no. I forgot. You can now enchant bows. So let's throw an enchantment on this guy. Uh, five levels. Power one. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. And this one's still got that knockback and unbreaking on it. I'm going to keep that. I like the idea of being able to, like, if you get, you know, surrounded by mobs, you can just punch them and move them back. So let's take these torches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we are done with this area. So let's go ahead and head out to intersection two. I'm going to set up the care package in a bed and we'll check out the rumbling caverns. All right, guys, so here we are at the rumbling cavern or intersection two, I should say. So let's put down the chest and drop off a lot of this stuff. Uh, food. Uh, this busted armor, arrows, the bow, sword, pick, shovel. Okay, and I think that's all we needed to drop off. Okay, and let's put the bed right. I think there should be fine. Can we sleep in it? Yep, there we go. Okay, here we go. Everything's set up. Oh, you know what? I dropped off the wrong th thing. Oh, no. That's fine. I have one too many pieces of coal, though. <laughs> All right. So let's see what this area has to offer here. Don't really... Oh, okay. So there's lava there. I was looking for lava before, so we can make a lava bucket out of this. That's good. Um, oop, this is dark. Warning, senior students and staff only. This cavern is very unstable. Please use extreme caution. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's get this lit up. So walk away that way. I don't like all the gravel in the ceiling. I see a chest with sand on it, but it looks like it's in a column of gravel. I don't know if I want to risk that. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, a lot of gravel and stuff. Zombie down below. Okay. So this sign says stone tools and food low. Let's check this out. Yep, just the standard stuff. Um, Yeah, we'll leave that there. Whoa, what the heck? Uh, okay. <laughs> that gravel is just kind of going on its own. Um, very interesting. And a lot of it landed on this bridge. So let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff. Oops. Huh. Okay, I think that's the fleece box back there. Oop. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> There's so much stuff happening. Okay, it sounds like there might be a spider on the other side of this, so I want to kind of block this off. Um, <laughs> this is kind of annoying. Okay. 
Could you put more gravel on this bridge, please, next time? Jeez, this is a real pain in the butt. At least I'll have plenty of um, gravel blocks by the time this is all done. I'm guessing that spider's right on the other side of this gravel. Sounds real close. Yeah, there's a spider. Okay. Yeah, lots of holes in the ground. So I'm just going to assume, since this one fell, that there's probably going to be others that are going to fall. I'm going to have to, you know, take caution for that. I want to fill in these holes, too. And then get this bridge lit up. Now, this is a pretty cool area, though. Big open spaces. Plenty of area for secrets and treasures to be. Looks like there's some kind of an opening down there. Alright, let's start lighting things up a bit so we can see what's going on. I want to get these torches back. Put one more right there, I think. Whoops. Or we could put two. <laughs> Alright. So the path has now been cleared. Skeleton down there is going to try and shoot at me. Just ignore him. Some more torches. Get this stuff blocked in. Zombie. Okay. Ooh. Sounds like a creeper chip. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, what, what, what? <laughs> okay. Uh I thought it sounded like a creeper <laughs> had just died in <laughs> in this lava here, but apparently that was some TNT going off. I wonder how that's being triggered. I wonder if that's one of those proximity sensor things like um mob tra or mob spawners. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's pretty cool though. I like those I like those random explosions and things happening. Oh, more iron. Very cool. Definitely could use more iron. Um Okay, I see a chest way down there, or at least some sand. I see some coal down there. Um uh, Spider falling. Hmm. Oh, there's another fleece box down there, and I think that's a big patch of iron right there. It's kind of hard to tell. I bet that won't come out on this video at all. Okay. Um. So where to go first? So the path leads this way up into the iron. So he wanted me to see this. I don't really want to fall or walk on this gravel at all under any circumstances. So let's just kind of continue this bridge out to the wall. And then we could probably walk along the wall somewhere. You'd have to go back and get some more blocks it looks like. Okay, so iron's there. Whoop. Creeper spawner. Um. <laughs> okay, so there's a creeper spawner in this gravel somewhere. Yeah, I don't really want to walk in the gravel at all. Um, I suspect that this is probably all going to fall. No. Whoa. What's going on? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. 
Okay. So there's kind of like a staircase up this way. And there's like a fleece box over there. Don't like all this stuff above me. I want to get to the higher ground for sure. Gravel. <laughs> Don't like the gravel floor. Let's get rid of that. Okay. And... <laughs> Man, that is so dangerous. There's just like... That looks like it's all gravel. So I assume all of these are probably going to be rigged to fall down at some point. Um, it's like some random block right there in the center. Doesn't look like a normal stone block. It almost looks like a mob spawner, but it's hard to tell. It might be coal. Okay, so I guess the next thing to do is just to just to make our way around the edge here. A uh, random block. <laughs> Feel like I'm being really, really quiet. Quiet, but there's just like so much stuff to pay attention to right now. Like a mob could fall on me at any time. Random TNT could explode. Um, so I think I want to go down from about this level over. It looks like. So let's just build across here. Here and walking. Let's make sure all this is properly lit. Oh, there's a creeper right up there. Man, this cave is just crazy. <laughs> oh. How did that go off? So random. <laughs> huh. Okay, so I see another chest down there or another piece of sand with a chest underneath it it looks like all right let's just continue on i have to say though this cave so far is probably one of the coolest places i've seen in a vex map seems like a lot of you know i guess it would be called scripted events are happening i think that's what i've heard these refer to as okay so there's wool back in here um is this gonna cause this to fall no okay we'll leave that alone for now so let's check this out oops using a sword for that all right the pink wool good 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 all right um Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the wool back off at our chest at the beginning. And just kind of, you know, reassess the situation. I don't think I'm going to go for the iron yet. I don't think I'm going to look for the secret chests uh, down below just yet. I want to get, you know, the main areas lit up. Is that another chest right there? Or is that that one that's in the gravel? I think that's the one that's in the gravel. Whatever, skeleton. Okay, guys, so I just dropped off a lot of the stuff that we collected so far. I have not touched this chest over here, and I'm still 
don't think I want to even play with that chest yet. All that gravel seems to have fallen from below it. Uh, I wonder if there's even actually anything in there. I can't see a sign. And, well, you know, I said I was going to hold off on checking these out for a while, but I think I am going to check it out anyway. Looks like a lot of this gravel is just going to fall. <laughs> Anything below that one? No? Alright, so let's make like a safer way over there. Want to get rid of that creeper? Doesn't even notice. Doesn't care. Okay, so let's continue building over this way. Whoa. I don't know where that creeper fell to, but it's... Uh, Whoa, okay, backing off. Um. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay, well, I guess that chest didn't have anything in it. Or if it did have something in it, it's gone now. There's no way I could have gotten to that without it being destroyed. Ah, <sighs> this cave. This is awesome, though. I like <laughs> how the, it appears to be like proximity sensors. Like you get too close to something, and then TNT goes off, and <laughs> that's just pretty cool. I like that. It's really, really cool. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff over here. I want to collect this iron at some point. It looks like it might be... Not quite a lot. Maybe a stack's worth? I don't know. Um, I assume he wants us to walk along this gravel path. Yeah, not happening. I'm going to dig around the edge here, I think. Man, this is just like all gravel in here. Yeah, I'm not falling for that trick. Alright, so let's just kind of... I think I'm actually going to dig the pathway instead of placing blocks. I do want to get some more uh, cobblestone. So I might cut out a little bit of this unless something interesting happens. Oh crap, I just heard another explosion about to go off. Nope. Oh man. I don't know where that was. But I keep falling down lower and lower. Uh, let's get out of here. Um, so what just exploded? I don't know what that was. But that skeleton is gonna die. <laughs> oh, come on. Show your face. Show it. Fine. And two skeletons. Gotcha. So it looks like whatever it was, I see some blocks over here. Okay. Whoop. Okay. So that's a. Uh... Oh, there's a gas spotter down there. Interesting. I wonder what that's guarding. Oh man. Uh, crazy, crazy place. You know, after looking at these pathways and things, one thing that I really want to do, you can see where I've dug along the edges here, but one thing that I really want to do is just knock it down. I want to see this whole thing fall. I think I think that'll be really, really fun to watch. See if I can make my way over here and knock a couple pieces of this gravel down. Oh, that's disappointing. I was expecting the whole thing to come tumbling down. Um, yeah, so down there appears to be some kind of a dungeon, I think. 
that looks like mossy cobblestone or mossy stone brick, one of the two. Gas spawner right there. Gas spawner right there. Um, yeah, whatever that is, looks like it's going to be fun to get to. <laughs> awesome. Huh. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that this whole thing would come tumbling down, but I guess that won't happen. Oh, well. Uh, I'm going to keep digging my way across here and then probably dig down and then worry about this gas spawner. Um, yeah, I've been digging this tunnel over along the top like this, kind of expecting to put down a railroad or a rail track to intersection 3 eventually. And I don't know if this is intersection 3 down here or if this is like some dungeon for this area. But I'm just going to keep, you know, digging along, uh, collecting that cobblestone. That's good to have. Um, my pick is probably about done. I'm going to have to go, I think, take that other one from the <laughs> intersection 2 that I dropped off and continue digging here. But um, I think that's probably going to do for this episode, guys. Um... It might be shorter than normal, but this has taken me a lot longer than usual with all the cuts and things. I mean, that's a lot of digging. And, yeah. Alright guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.